in order to please the YouTube gods, if you are under the age of 18, please do not watch this. If you are. Blaze on. Hello everybody and welcome back to Chicago Hydro, your go-to place for hydro and micro grows. Today is Saturday, which means we have another weekend wisdom segment for y'all on defoliation and topping. Wednesday, we uploaded a in the weed segment. So if you missed that, make sure to check that out so you are up to date on this grow. Today, we will be defoliating all of our girls as well as topping the three strains that started off as seeds. The more nodes that are exposed to the LED lights, the more bud sites you will have come flower time. Defoliation does get rid of a lot of fan leaves, but if done properly, these training techniques can vastly increase the end yield. All right, first off in our defoliation is the passion fruit strain. I'm going to go in and pinch off the largest fan leaves that are not directly connected to any nodes on the plant. Make sure you have a receptacle to throw out all the trimmings away. You do not want bugs feasting on the decaying leaves you leave behind. These two nodes are going to grow up to look just like this top node, which is the one being topped. Since this is the passion fruit strain and I do record time lapses daily for her, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Chicago Hydro to see how this training has affected her growth. I will go ahead and finish up the trimming now. Personally, I think I messed up here by taking away these extra fan leaves from the top nodes, but you live and learn. As you can see, we have only nodes for the most part with developing fan leaves at the center. Instead of fan leaves taking up energy, now the main nodes that will develop into branches later on will use up the nutrients and energy from the reservoir and LED lights respectively. To finish up, I will clear these bottom nodes that developed early on that will only produce popcorn nugs come flower time. Ideally, we want very few, if any at all. All right, now we can get on and get to our dosey do. -si -do. For the dosey -si do 33, we can see that it has the largest fan leaves, and I am excited to see how the already developing lower nodes will react with exposure to more light. Go ahead and pinch the top of your plant and cut it. That takes care of the topping portion of this plant. Next, we can go ahead and defoliate the rest of the plant to allow better light penetration to the lower nodes. As we saw on Wednesday's update video, the Dozy Doe 33 has a great root structure and will recover quickly, no doubt. Next up, we have the Sweet Deep Grapefruit. For the sweet deep grapefruit, we are going to go right in and top it first. Then we'll go ahead and chop off some of these huge fan leaves that are taking up energy from the lower nodes. All this defoliation and topping will stunt your plants for a few days. But because these are not auto seeds, we will not be affected by waiting a few extra days to let the plant recover. These nodes on the sweet deep grapefruit were very underdeveloped, but now that it's been defoliated and it's been topped, these nodes will be able to develop stronger. I might have gone a bit overboard with the trim, but it is better to mess up in veg cycle than in flower. The best we can do now is give it time to recover, then watch it explode with growth. Now, because the NASA Bruce has gone through some training, 
and a lot more of its nodes are showing, we want to make sure that the larger fan leaves at the top of the plant are removed so the lower nodes can develop and be at the same height as the rest. Defoliation is fun because you get to select where the bud sites will grow and it is definitely a learning process where one chooses to defoliate and how much to defoliate as well. I am by no means an expert, but I was happy with my first yield, which is why I am choosing to share my knowledge of growing in an RDWC system now. In case you missed the low stress training done to this NASA Bruce, I will make sure to leave a card up above now. All right, and that is going to do it for another weekend wisdom segment here at Chicago Hydro. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content that we provided here today and make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any future uploads every Wednesday and Saturday. More content is on its way. I am just backlogging it, so I do not have to scramble to make a brand new video every single day. In order to keep making content, I would greatly appreciate it if you took the time to check out my Patreon page or simply use the Amazon affiliate codes in the description of the video for any of the gear that I use in my videos. It doesn't cost you anything extra to click on those links, but I do get a small kickback to help the power stay on here at Chicago Hydro. Before we go, I would just like to give a special thank you to everybody who has joined the YouTube community here at Chicago Hydro. I greatly appreciate your support and the time you take to share this content with other stoners. Make sure to follow us on the WeTube where I will be uploading cannabis friendly content without fear of losing my channel. On Instagram, I'll be posting updates on the passion fruit strain as well as day to day maintenance on our hydroponics system. I recently made a Twitter account, so go ahead and tweet at me with any questions or future video ideas you might have. The Chicago Hydro Patreon page is where I will be posting daily so you know exactly what my time is spent on when I'm not editing videos or recording my plants grow. There are perks that go along with every tier, so make sure you pick the tier that's right for you.